Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my October favorites with you. It is almost the end of the year, time is flying, and I have a lot of new things that I'm really excited to share with you, so let's jump right on into it. So if you follow me on social media, you will know that I have been trying to live a little bit healthier in terms of eating better, working out more, um, just doing all those things to kind of live a better life. And since I've been working out, I've been wearing a lot of Sweaty Betty attire, and I wanted to share this specific sports bra. And it's this like blue shade on the front, and it's got like this salmon pink color on the inside and on the sides. It is the most comfortable sports bra I've ever worn in my entire life. It really zips everything up and it's not too tight where you feel like you can't breathe because some sports bras do make you feel that way, but it's the perfect fit. The next thing that I've been loving is something that you will definitely have seen throughout my Instagram and that is a little something special from Jimmy Choo. I was eyeing these sunglasses because Victoria from InTheFro.com, she had these sunglasses on a few months ago and I was like I'm gonna need those and they look like this they've got like a little cat eye effect to them this is the most expensive thing I've ever bought in my entire life this is such a luxury purchase but this is my first pair of luxury sunglasses and I have literally been so careful with them every time I take them off when I go into a restaurant they go right back into this case and they're just safe and protected in here because I will not sit on them I will not step on them because that's what normally happens to my sunglasses. Now, these next two are a recommendation from Callie. She is Butt First Coffee here on YouTube as well as her blog. I think it's buttfirstcoffeeblog.com. I will link all of her information down below because if you are not following her on YouTube, you are missing out in life. She is freaking hilarious. But anyway, um, she did a drugstore type video, I think a few weeks ago, and she recommended these L'Oreal Le Mat Velvety Full Coverage Lip Pencils. And the one that she specifically recommended was number 108, Matter of Fact. It looks like this purpley color right here. Um, I also ended up grabbing Made for Matte number 106, which is a very beautiful red, perfect for the holiday season. She was right about these. I am literally addicted. They go on so well, and I don't know what it is about the actual shape of the pencil, but I can really get in very easily. They're very smooth, they're velvety, they just feel so good on the lips, and they kind of give you a little tingle right when you apply, and it feels so clean, and I like the way that they smell. And I think for being a drugstore product, this is better than a lot of the high-end lip colors that say that they're super matte and they'll stay on all day because these actually stay on all day like I have trouble taking this off but they're still so creamy it just makes no sense it defies physics this is the Sunday Riley Luna sleeping oil I've heard a lot about this in the skincare world everyone says this is amazing and I realize this is a hundred dollars this little bottle right here I do have to say that since I've started using this, my skin has not broken out once. It doesn't look dry, it doesn't look cakey, even though I know that I have to exfoliate. This is really great for anti-aging and it really helps diminish the appearance of pores, which I have a lot of. So when I use this, you can almost not even see my pores, which is freaking incredible. This also rejuvenates your skin. It's got retinol and blue tansy. It is an amazing, amazing product. And the last thing this does, um, or one of the benefits I should say is that it diminishes the appearance of wrinkles which you all know I'm afraid of my skin aging so I have been using this you only need about a drop or two every night kind of rub it between your fingers and then gently pat so it's kind of like that serum oil that you would use it's amazing I have been using the new Maybelline brow satin it looks like this and it's got two sides. You have this side back here that's kind of like a little sponge that adds color to your eyebrows, and then you have your typical eyebrow pencil on the back. Um, I have honestly just been running the sponge through my brows just to add a little tiny bit of color, just to make my eyebrows look a little bit put together because then I run the clear gel through them to hold them in place. But otherwise, I just don't really wanna use the pencil. I don't wanna make them too dark, too prominent. 
If I don't have eyebrows, I'm just kind of like rocking the brows I do have and I've gotten in that weird mood where I'm just like, F the eyebrows, I don't want to do this. So I've been loving this though. If you've been reading my travel stories on my blog, you'll know that I had this foundation and it exploded in my suitcase when I went to Utah. So naturally, I went to Sephora and replaced it because this is one of the best foundations I've ever tried in my life. This is amazing for every day. This is the Ultra HD. Now I usually love this around the holidays, but I am just so obsessed with this. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. This is the MAC pigment in the shade Tan. I hope, this is probably going to last me my entire life, but I actually got this as part of their holiday pigment collection last year. And it's just such a beautiful color. The foil pigment on the eyes just looks incredible. Everyone always notices it, and it's just a tan color. It's not like it's hot pink or purple on my eyelids, but everyone notices it because of this pigment. It's just amazing, I love this. I'm so ready for the holidays, and I'm gonna rock this all season long. This is hands down one of the coolest moisturizers I've ever used. It really gives me that healthy, luminous glow that we're all looking for, but it's in the form of a moisturizer and it doesn't make me look oily or greasy, which is my biggest pet peeve. I don't want luminosity when it makes me look greasy. Like, I'm good, I don't need the luminosity of that. You know what I mean? So I've really, really been enjoying this. It's not too thick, not too thin and slippery. It's just the perfect, perfect texture and it just glides onto the skin really smoothly, creates a nice base for makeup. Been loving this. I have been using a micellar water this month and it is the Simple Cleansing Micellar Water. I got lash extensions this month and so when you get lash extensions you're really not supposed to use any oil and typically I'll use a cleansing oil to get all the eye makeup off but I have had to resort to something that doesn't have oil and this has been my go-to. This is a really nice cleansing water. It doesn't burn the eyes. It doesn't make my skin sting. That is it. Those are all of my October favorites. So can't believe we only have two months left in this year. It is insane. But anyway, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And if that is the case, then I will see you in my next video. Bye. This has retinol. Blah. Blah. Anyway, um, make me. I didn't realize that this is a hundred freaking dollars. A hundred dollars.